Question 17. In each box, circle the number that is greater. Now, obviously, we've got a mixture of fractions, like a half, quarter, five hundredths, three fifths, but also we've got decimals, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to change the fractions to the equivalent decimals, and that might help us compare to see which one's bigger. So let's think about this half here, one and a half. Well, if you've got a chocolate bar and you've got two halves, then both halves are worth 50%. And the other half is worth 50% as well. But don't forget that 50% as a decimal is 0 0.5. So basically what we've got here is 1.5 is the same as 1.5. So 1.5 is obviously greater than 1.2. So in this first pair of fractions and decimals we need to circle the one that's great so 1.5 is bigger than 1.2 therefore one and a half is bigger than 1.2 moving on to the second pair we've got one quarter and 1.3 well in a quarter that's like a chocolate bar being split into four pieces and each quarter would be 25 percent if we were talking percentages, because the whole chocolate bar would be 100%, and if you split 100 into four equal bits, you get 25 in each bit. So as a percentage, a quarter is 25%. But we're not really interested in percentages at the moment, we're looking at decimals, we want them to be in a decimal. So 25% as a decimal is actually 0.25. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So one and a quarter as a decimal is 1.25. The one is the whole one, and then the quarter is the 0.25. So the question is, is 1.25 bigger or smaller than 1.3? Well, remember, this has got two digits after the decimal point, so, and this has only got one. So to make it a fair comparison, we'll make this have two digits after the point as well by adding an extra zero. Because 1.3 is the same as 1.30 or 1.30 if you like. You shouldn't really say 1.30, but if it helps you compare that to 1.25, then you, you can say it if you want to. So, between 1.25 and 1.30, 1.30 is obviously bigger. If you think about money, this would be £1.30. Whereas this one would be £1.25, so £1.30 would be bigger, therefore 1.30 is bigger. So that's the one that we need to circle there. Moving on to the next one, we've got 1 and 5 hundredths compared with 1.4. Well, 1 and 5 hundredths, let's think about some column headings. So we've got 5 hundredths, well we've got units tenths, hundredths, and the decimal point comes between units and tenths. So one and five hundredths is one whole unit, no tenths, and five hundredths. Five hundredths means a five in the hundredths column. So a five in the hundredths column is going to look like that, but there was no mention of tenths. So that's one whole one, no tenths, and five hundredths. So one and five hundredths is actually 1.05. But when you compare it with 1.4, again, there's only one digit after the decimal point. So let's make that a fair comparison by adding a second digit after the decimal point, which will be a zero. So we're comparing 1.05 to 1.40. Again, if you think about money, it's like saying £1.5 compared with £1.40. And £1.40 is obviously going to be the bigger one. So the 1.4 is the one that we need to circle there because we're circling the greater answer. For the last one, we've got 1 and 3 fifths versus 1.5. Well, if we think about a chocolate bar being split into fifths like so, then percentage-wise, if the whole chocolate bar is 100%, if you split 100 into 5, you would get 20% in each one. 20%. And 20% as a decimal is 0 0.2. So if we 
change this chocolate bar into decimals, we'd have 0 0.2 in each one. Five lots of 0 0.2 is a whole one. You could put 0 0.20 if you like, and it would still make a whole one. Remember, 0 0.2 and 0 0.20 mean the same thing. So five lots of 0 0.20 would add up to one whole one. So back to the question, we've got one and three fifths. Well, basically, three fifths is like saying three lots of 20%, which would be 60%, or three lots of 0 0.20, which would be 0 0.60 or 0 0.6. So one and three fifths is one whole one, and three fifths is the 0 0.6. So 1 and 3 fifths is 1.6. And obviously this is bigger than 1.5. So as for the one that we need to circle, 1.6 is bigger than 1.5. So this is the one we need to circle.